Hey guys, welcome to Nigrata Keys. In this video, I am going to explain how to implement the HTTP interceptor. And also, using this HTTP interceptor concept, I am going to pass the JWT token authorization header. So, we can see everything in the details. First, let me go to my code. I am going to create one HTTP interceptor. So, basically, this HTTP interceptor also the type of service only. So, let me create the service. So ng generate and service for s. So my service name is token interceptor. Okay, great. Our service is created. So let me open the service. So as I mentioned, uh, we are going to use this service as the HTTP interceptor. So I need to implement the interface of interceptor. I mean the HTTP interceptor. Okay, done. So now it's showing some error. If you see, uh, basically the interface how the function is called intercept. So we need to implement the function. So using this quick fix option, we can implement the intercept. Okay, fine. We have done. So the function is generated. Uh, basically we need to implement the logic here okay first let me declare the token JWT token and after that let me clone the request okay fine here actually we are passing the header so we can use the headers and our header name is authorization so basically here we are passing the uh, token that means our JWT token so let me declare here initially I am going to give the empty value Okay, fine and we are using the barrier token so we have to include the prefix as the barrier and some space so after that we have to pass our token let me format it after that uh, we need to return the request so return next dot handle of here we need to pass the JWT token that's what we created the object here okay fine as of now we don't have the exact token uh, basically we will get the token when we are logged in time uh, we will get the token we also have the similar services let me explain the service I am already created on web API it's called user slash authenticate here I need to pass the username and password based on that it will generate the JWT token and the refresh token also so we are not going to worry about the refresh token we are just using this JWT token so let me run the service and I'm just taking this token value so in the real-time application we will get once we are logged in the time uh, as of now in this video I am plan to cover only the interceptor that's what I just hard coded that's it okay great uh, now our HTTP interceptor is ready uh, load the data for uh, customer page uh, using the service so the, for loading the service also we have the service called customer so okay see it's basically unauthorized because we are not passing the exact token that's what is showing the error in case if I am providing the valid token See now it will return the data so the same service we are going to consume and we are going to bind in our table so initially we don't have any data let me start from our services okay where is my service okay this is the master service here I am going to create one function so these steps are not going to take much time 
get customers and if you are consuming any external service we have to use the HTTP client so let me inject the HTTP client here return this dot HTTP dot get here basically we need to pass our API URL so we have our API URL here okay done uh, now let me come to the component the component already I am having the customer list so inside the constructor here I am going to inject the service first so once it's injected we can consume the particular function here so this dot service dot and get customer so basically it's the observable data so let me subscribe it and this dot customer list equal to result so okay we have done and in our html side so if you noted actually we are generating the for loop for this customer list object and we are binding the data so let me see the output now okay done now we can see the output now okay still the data are not loaded let me verify in the network side okay 401 error see the status code is 401 error actually we are requesting this url the reason is actually this is a secured service we supposed to pass the token so otherwise we cannot access the particular service that's what we are implementing the http interceptor so as of now we implemented our http interceptor at the same time we are consumed the external api in our another services but we are not passed the token that means we are not included this interceptor service in our app model that's what we are facing this error so let me go to the app model this is the very important step we have to include this in the provider side so in the provider the first input is provide here we need to use the http underscore interceptor and the next one is use class for this use class we have to specify our interceptor class so our interceptor class name is token interceptor service okay great and the final thing one is multi so we are using this interceptor for uh, multiple classes so we have done everything now we can see the output once again see now the, all the records are loaded the code name form uh, actually we are binding these three things if required uh, we can bind some additional fields also so let me go here i am going to include the one more field is called email So now one more field was included but why the data are not pointed email okay this is the small letter that's what the data is not binded okay we have the data so let me debug also then you will get some better idea so actually I am getting all the customer related uh, records from this API won't lie and we have the get method basically this will return all the records so when I am trying to refresh the screen so the request is hitting in the get method so it will re return the data in case 
uh, and our token is maybe an invalid token or else if I'm not passing the authorization header then we cannot get any values because it's completely secured API and the one more thing is this complete API is uh, created using this dotted core framework so that video link also I will share in the description if you want to get more details about the API and you want to know how to implement the API with the dotnet core framework so you can watch that video also yeah, still if you have any doubts or clarification about the uh, HTTP interceptor please post in my comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching